Hey guys, I'm back and first of all, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed since the last time I made a video on this topic. Since then, there's been over a hundred of you who have subscribed, bringing us to a grand total of 402 subscribers. And I never thought I would have that many subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for the comments. It's been great talking to all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you enough just how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Before we begin, I just have to take a moment to apologize to all of you. The way I phrased things in my last video may have made it seem like I was hearing differences that were vastly greater than they really were. In fact, what I heard was extremely subtle and may have been the product of a psychological phenomenon. Since that video, I've done plenty of research on the topic and I've come to the conclusion that under ideal conditions, both inexpensive and expensive cables will perform almost nearly the same, so close that there is no discernible difference. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't a reason to buy expensive cables over inexpensive cables. The main reason why you might want to buy an expensive cable over an inexpensive cable is shielding. Damaged or inadequate shielding can cause all kinds of problems with your signal, including buzzes, noises, and clicks. This is why you might want to spend a little extra money to get yourself a more expensive cable. In general, expensive cables tend to have better, more robust shielding that will last longer, while cheap cables have less robust, inexpensive shielding that's prone to damage. While both cables perform the same under ideal conditions, in general, we don't tend to play under ideal conditions and it's better to have a better cable that will last you longer versus one that is prone to damage and breaking. That being said, I'm not completely convinced that the differences I'm hearing between the two cables are due entirely to some kind of psychological phenomenon. And it seems that some of you are in the same boat. Here are some comments that I got in my last video. This one from Andrew B. And this one from the hilariously named Heterosapien Gay. So what I would like to do in this video is with your help, come to a consensus on whether or not there is a obvious discernible difference between the two cables. And as a in-between, I brought in a third cable from a company I've been using for the last couple of years called Copal. For this test, I'll be using my trusty AKG Perception 100 condenser microphone. I chose a condenser microphone so that we have a full frequency range and we have no doubts when we're done whether or not there's a difference between one cable and the other. As with my other test, I'll be speaking something, singing something, and screaming something. Before we begin, I just want to let you know of a small change I've made to my setup. You're hearing me solely through the NTG-1, the Rode NTG-1. It has a little bit of compression. I'm experimenting with just a dash of compression in these videos just for that mic. None of the other mics will have compression on them. And simply so that when I speak, it, it's all even and there aren't any weird uh, dips where you can't really hear what I'm saying. So bear in mind when I do the example before the actual test begins that this mic has just a dash of compression. And so the lyrics I've chosen for this particular test are, life is full of complications just a little bit, just a little bit. You'll hear me speak those lyrics as such, and then you'll hear me sing them as such. Life is full of complications, just a little bit, just a little bit. I've also made a change to the kind of scream I will be using, so it'll sound something like this. Life is full of complications, just a little bit, just a little bit. And so that's what you'll hear in each of the individual tests. So now you're hearing me through the AKG Perception 100. And up first is the Monster Performer 500. Life is full of complications, just a little bit, just a little bit. Life is full of complications, 
just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Life is full of complications. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And there you go, guys. Those were the three tests. Was there a discernible difference between any of the three mic cables? Let me know what you think. Was there a real reason for you to spend your hard-earned money on one cable over the other? What did you think? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.